Page 250. <laughs> Number seven, and the fact that only about four people did this for homework suggests that this would be a question I would like to put on you. <laughs> If the charge of one electron is 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, what do I write down? It gives you information. At least you can put the information onto the page. You write down 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Equals cubed. Equals cubed or equals coulombs. No, you've got to put down the cube. That's the bit. Why is that important? That's the equation. No. So that prompts the equation in your head. So that's the bit that's important. If you don't know that's charge, and if you don't know the symbol for charge is Q, then you'll struggle when it comes to finding the relevant formula. So that's Q. I can use a smaller big Q. It doesn't make a difference. Um, how many electrons are needed to give a charge of one coulomb? So what is, what's the next one right now? What am I looking for? I N. I'm looking for a number. So N equals question mark. So the charge on one electron, I'll put it like this, that equals one electron. So the question is N equals question mark if something equals what? To give a charge of how many electrons I need to give a charge of one coulomb. So N equals question mark if the charge is one coulomb. I mean how you write it down doesn't make make too much difference, but all the information is there. So you've got one coulomb, you've got one electron, and its charge is 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. How many of these do you need to make up one coulomb? One, one divided by one. Divide one, divided by one. Answer? One divided by 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19. That's it. To give an analogy, if this took up 10, if this took up, let's say, one cubic meter, and I said the room was 1,000 cubic meters. How many of these would be, make up a room? Yeah, 1,000 divided by whatever is in one of these. Okay, so it's the same thing. What is 1 divided by 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19? 12 to 18. 6.25 by 10 to 18. <laughs> <laughs> 6.25 by 10 to the 18. Answer units? Electrons. No, um, Electrons. No. The question is, how many electrons would you need? So it's again putting the unit down. See you now. Just just prompts the notion. What is it that I'm after measuring here? What is it that I'm after calculating? So there's that many electrons in one coulomb. Uh, next question. Is that okay? Can I move on? Next page. Going once. Going twice. Number eight. If the charge in one electron is 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, so once again, what's the first thing I write down? Mark? What's the first thing I write down for number 8? Did you get the slits? Sorry, Mark, what's the first thing I need? Okay, a formula probably isn't a bad place to start, but in terms of the information that it gives us, if the charge on one electron is 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, from that phrase right there, Q, and I could make a bigger small Q, but you put a big Q for the formula, so Q is 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Sean, uh, number eight, how many electrons flow past any point in a circuit for which a 20 amp current flows? Next thing I write down? I equals 20. I equals 20. For six seconds, Sean? What do I write down? T equals 6. So now this does look a little strange. It looks like I have Q. It looks like I have I. It looks like I have T. You don't have Q. I don't have. But is that not Q? No, it's the charge on one electron. No, it's C. No. It's the charge on one electron. What I want to know is what is it, what... No, so you have to find the charge and how yeah, electrons have to. into it. Yeah. So how many electrons flow past any point in the circuit? So where am I going to go here? I know the total current, I know the time. What can I get from that? Multiplying. 
I can get big Q. So Q is equal to I times T is equal to 20 by 6. And what's 20 by 6? You just ask it. Units? Oh. Okay. Oh. Big C. So my total charge is 120 coulombs. Let's go back to the question. If the charge on one electron is that, how many electrons flow past any point in a circuit for which 20 amps flows for six seconds? Divide that by 1.6. Yeah. So that's the total charge that has flowed past the point. The question is, shh, Chris. That's the total charge that has flown past the point. The question is, how many electrons are associated with that? How do you work it out? Yeah, that's the total charge. One electron has that amount of charge, 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19. So the number of electrons, and I get E with a minus for my symbol for electrons. Number of electrons is equal to 120 divided by the charge on one electron, 1.6 by 10 to the minus 19. And your answer will be? What is it? 7.5 electrons. Okay? Yeah.